Welcome back to this vlog guys. Today I want to touch base on something that's been cropping up quite often of late and a lot of people asking me a lot of questions. This is about recognizing the true spiritualists, mediums, occultists, people that say that they possess or they have a talent, a gift, which they seem, or some of them at least, seem to charge extortionate rates <laughs> for, as they call it, predicting your future or offering guidance of a spiritual or other level. Now, let's take the practice in itself, okay? There's a loads of mediums, there's loads of spiritualists, there's loads of life coaches, there's all kinds of things out there. And yes, we do have a fascination with the practice and a lot of people do end up at some point or another seeking spiritual advice, going to a medium, passing through some kind of situation in life where you feel that you require, you need some sort of guidance. And that is all well and good. It's all well and good. It's all natural, it's all normal. Until you come across these people that are charlatans, that are actually a disgrace to the occult practice. Now, I'm just gonna give you a couple of pointers here of what you should do or what you could do to make sure you don't fall into these traps. So first and foremost, when you come to book an appointment with one of these people, maybe they come through recommendation, you might have found them on social media, you might have seen an advert, whatever. First thing, most important to do, always book under an alias. Don't give them your name, because obviously nowadays with Facebook and everything else, they're gonna check you up, they're gonna look at things that they're gonna be able to ask questions to trigger the answers from yourselves. Now I can assure you there's no gift in that. This is, this is a scheme that they have no kind of uh, spiritual guidance or spirits that are appearing and giving them the information. They are conning you. That is the correct term. They are conning you. So you need to make sure that you take necessary precautions. And when you actually are in front of such individual, firstly and foremost, they have always been of the frame of mind that these people should not ask for a set fee, but they should really ask for a donation, right? Because it is down to you that have gone over there to experience this situation, to be able to evaluate of how much benefit they were to yourself at that point in time and how accurate they were. Once you are there in front of them, of course, they will ask you questions and some of them are, are professional con artists. They will ask you questions to be able to denote and deliver an answer that you want to hear. It is all part and parcel of the game. So when you are there, you need to let the person doing the reading to lead you and give you those answers without being preempted to do so. It is just very important not to get caught in this trap because unfortunately they will keep you hooked, they will keep you coming back, they will tell you things that you want to hear which will make you return and part with your hard-earned cash but I can assure you there will be no spiritual value to all that they are telling you. So please, please, always keep in mind and always be careful of these people that you are frequenting. Make sure, as much as this might sound as a cliche statement, make sure that you're always getting value for that money.